Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I want to go to You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my way? The wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. Here's your test bag. Can I see you out of class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my brain and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Bria. As more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multi-millionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Just think about it. All I would ask for is one thing. Um, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina. Did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? 145 k to cover the surgery. Rena, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom- I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she- You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No, this wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here, I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait, he's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this one. Put it on. Yeah, that's nice. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. So now you would be nice. You know what, can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you, you remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after the Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hook. Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I see that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Hey, make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my days left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I've only got a dream. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the Prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries. Well, you seem like a very nice guy, and I would like to get to know you, but 
I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes. My mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with the Wishing Rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I cannot find the rock. I think we should get buried instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, Princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jane. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you... I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like it. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guard! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. It's time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this thing for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry, we don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry, I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have it. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you. I couldn't have done this without help. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Gloria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. It's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if, if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. What? Do you believe in vampires? 
No, why? Because I think he's sitting next to me. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to... Kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prince I get. Happy birthday! You can take your band-aid off! I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmate. No way. I think you and I might be soulmate. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now, come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam. He's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I didn't see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. 
save me. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a bee. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? Um, Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam, you're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <sighs> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Y yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charlie. It's okay. I got something better. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise. But you do owe me quite a bit of cash. So what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff. But I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. 
Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're going to do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did, but what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized. Yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Suck, Jake. Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla, what you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let's go. Get in my car. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears. Really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now wait just a minute. Don't worry, mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break up the news about the divorce. Uh, you and mom are getting a divorce? I didn't- Oh no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take the friendship race back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Oh. I'm going with green today. Well, what is that? Wait, can I get some time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna get him this to her for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> oh.